बिस्मिल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर क्लास आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर आदिल रजा एंड टूडे वी हैव टू लर्न एन एस एल ओ फ्रॉम ग्रेड सिक्स एंड इट्स आर यूनिट टेन सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट वट आर टूडे एस एल ओ इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट सो हेयर वी हैव द एस एल ओ अबाउट द कॉम्पिटेंसी ऑफ ऑरल कम्युनिकेशन एंड इट्स आर लेक्चर फाइव ए एंड आर मेन टॉपिक in this lecture will be conversation with clarity how to conversate with clarity so let's find out what the slo is saying the slo states that develop conversation for clarity and effect to engage the listener so in this slo we will cover what the oral communication is and how we can conversate with clarity what are the rules to conversate with clarity and how we can engage the listeners what are the rules to engage a listener or we can say that what are some tips to engage a listener in a effective way so i hope you guys have understand the slo and what we have to learn about this slo in today's lecture here is the vertical linkage let's go further here we have a brainstorming session so let's do brainstorming and read the prompt how do you conversate effectively with others so it's a very basic question we conversate very frequently we conversate in our homes in our schools or we can say that in our society with our peers with our friends so it's a very common practice which we do in the everyday life but the question is that how to conversate effectively i hope there are some rules which arose which comes to your mind and you can say that we have to converse effectively we have to listen attentively we have to uh, make responses properly so these all are right but in today's lecture we will learn all this stuff in a organized way so let's find out first what the oral communication means and how we can conversate with clarity how we can conversate in an effective manner so here we have the oral communication oral communication is the process of express ideas information and emotions through spoken words so when you talk verbally when you use language in the spoken form when you use language orally in the form of words so it considered as the oral communication it involves speaking clarity listening actively and engaging effectively with the others so these are actually the basis of effective oral communication when the communication or the conversation will get effective when there is a uh, active listening about uh, regard of the participant when the participants are actively listening when the listeners are engaged effectively and when we present our stance presents the information in a clear manner so let's find out what are the different way different ways to make our conversation clear but firstly we have to understand why the clear conversation why the clarity in conversation is so important because it helps the listener to understand your message if your conversation is not clear if what you are communicating is not clear then the listener will don't understand what you want to say and maybe you don't find the good response or the positive response secondly it reduce misunderstanding and confusion so clarity in conversation is very important clarity of message clarity of thought clarity of language clarity of pronunciation is very important because it reduces the misunderstanding and confusion it ensures the effective communication and builds trust so it is very important because it is it makes the communication effective lastly it keeps the listener engaged and interested so that's why the clarity is very much important in communication here we have some rules for conversation with clarity so how can we conversate with clarity there are some rules by following these rules you can conversate in a clear way or you can create clarity in your day life conversations so firstly you have to speak clearly and concisely you don't have to twist your tongue so much you do, you just have to talk in a precise manner you have to make your key points on focus and you have to speak clearly and concisely you don't have to uh, make some extended sentences it's the first rule secondly maintain a moderate 
space and volume your volume has to be appropriate if you are talking with 20 people so you have to make your volume very much audible to the 20 participants but when you are talking with one person then you don't have to make the volume which you have made for the 20 people so you have to manage your pace the speed of speaking and the volume as well thirdly the third rule for making uh, to create clarity in conversation is organize your thoughts your organized don't have to be ambiguous your organized your thoughts have to be organized and structured you don't uh, they don't have to be illogical they have to be in the logical order and they can convey they will they have to be convey the clear thoughts or the clear message so these are the three basic rules let's find out what are some other rules so you have to listen actively you make some communicative stances but as a response you have to listen actively as well when some other listens during the conversation you have to listen him or her in an active way to make proper responses if you don't uh, if you find any issue while listening you don't understand some point so you can ask clarifying questions which will add clarity to your conversation but if you don't ask uh, clarifying question and you go with the confusion then the clarity will gone from the conversation and you don't understand the essence of that conversation use appropriate body language so you have to use proper gestures or proper movements or proper expressions to make the conversation more clear check for understanding you also have to confirm what you have listened or what you have understand is right or not so these are some rules which creates clarity in the communication in the conversation and make your conversation very much clear and create clarity in the conversation i hope you guys have understand so let's find out some techniques through which we can engage the readers we can make a conversation interesting and engaging so what are these techniques firstly you have to make a eye contact so you have to make an eye contact it will engage the listener it will make the person attentive and he will listen to you carefully use facial expressions and gestures it will also help to engage the listener thirdly you can ask questions to involve the listener you can ask questions from the listener like the teacher did in the class he asked something from students to make them attentive or make them engaged in the class lastly use stories or examples to illustrate your point so this is a very common way to make your conversation interesting and engage your listener you can talk about some personal experience you tell some stories to the students so this is the way you engage the listeners while a conversation i hope you guys have understand what are the different techniques to make your conversation interesting and what are the rules to make your understanding clear make your conversation clear or create clarity in your conversation so use your knowledge and conduct this oral communications classroom activity uh, in the light of this slo so let's go further here we have a simulation link this simulation is also based on the oral communication different rules to create clarity in your conversation uh, this video also make the SLO more understandable and more achievable to you for you the link is in the description box you can watch this video as well here we have a homework this homework is also based on a oral activity so kindly do this homework in the class uh, uh, sorry in your home as well let's go further here we have a resource pack this resource pack will assist you to achieve your slos in a better way i hope you guys have understand what oral communication is what are the rules to create clarity in your conversation what are the ways to engage your listeners and achieve the slo uh, in a we can say that in an effective manner if you find any issue regarding the slo regarding the topics which we have covered in this lecture you can ask in the comment section and ask from your teacher as well thank you very much allah hafiz